Oh. Hello, boys and girls. Are you sitting in front of the gramophone? I've just finished my breakfast. Now I'm going on a quick trip to Nursery Rhyme Town. Would you like to come along? Yes. Oh, yes, please. You would? Good. I'll just get my icicle. I mean my bicycle. I hope the saddle's the right height. Now, where are the handlebars? Oh, aren't I silly? This is the one-wheel bike from the circus. The one I do my tricks on, so it doesn't have any handlebars. Oh, dear, I can't remember the magic password. It's not halt, halt, who goes there, or stand, stand, stop and stare. I'm sorry about this, boys and girls. Oh, I know. It's a slit and a sludge. My bike won't budge. A wheeze and a sneeze, and I'm caught in the breeze. A quick figure eight, and they open the gate. Hurry, 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 in case we're late. Up, 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 down, down, down. Here we are in Nursery Rhyme Town. I wonder who we're going to meet first. <gasps> There's little Miss Muffet. I think we'll go over and speak to her. Hello, Miss Muffet. How are you today? All right, thank you. All right, thank you. You don't sound all right. You sound as if you've been crying. I've just fallen off my tuffet. You've just fallen off your tuffet? That's funny. I've just fallen off my bike. Let's have a look. What a beautiful tuffet. That's the best tuffet I've seen for a long time. Is it a new one? Yes, it was made by the Royal Tuffet Makers. The Royal Tuffet Makers? Did you hear that, boys and girls? The Royal, Royal Tuffet Makers. Perhaps one day they'll make me a royal bicycle. What a splendiferous idea. This calls for a rhyme. Now, Miss Muffet, let's have the Miss Muffet rhyme. Ready, steady, go. One, two, three. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her birds and whey. There came a big spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away, 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 and frightened Miss Muffet away. That was splendiferous, Miss Muffet, splendiferous. Bye-bye, Pierre. Toodle pip pip pip, toodle pip. La -da -dee -dee -dee. I say, wasn't that exciting? Now, who are we going to meet next? That long trip to Nursery Rhyme Town has made me very hungry. I know I have a very good idea. I'll go and see Master Thomas Tucker. He's always singing for his supper. Perhaps he'll sing for two helpings. One for him and one for me. I might get something very good for supper. You never know. Now, where's Thomas Tucker? Oh, there he is over there. He's just started to sing. Tom, 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 Tom. Wait a minute. Don't start. I've got a very good idea. Anyway, how are you? All right, thank you. You sound a bit gruff. Have you started to sing yet? Not yet. Would you mind singing for some supper for me as well? All right, I will. Good, I'm very hungry. You better start singing now, because my tummy's starting to rumble, 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 and I think I'd like some apple crumble, crumble, crumble. I'm little Tommy Tucker, singing for my supper. What will they give me, brown bread and butter? That's not enough. We'll get nothing to eat. Let's help Thomas Tucker sing, boys and girls. I'm little Thomas Tucker, singing for my supper. What will they give me? Brown bread and butter. Brown bread and butter? That's not enough. Let's have some pop, pop, popcorn, some jolly jellies, some candy flossy, and oh, lots of lovely things. I'm sure something nice will come. We'll just have to wait. Thank you, Thomas Tucker. By the way, don't forget to clean your teeth after supper, before going to bed, and in the morning after breakfast. Why not give them a birthday every day, not just once a year? I hope you do too, boys and girls. Well, if Tom's going to sing for our supper, I'll have to lay the table. Now, let me see. <gasps> I can't lay the table because when the little dog laughed and sees such fun, the dish ran away with a spoon. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun and the dish ran away with a spoon. What am I going to do now? Oh, I know, a cup of tea. A very nice cup of tea. That's just what I need. I'll go and see Polly put the kettle on. I think this is the road. Uh, yes, Nursery Rhyme Street. It's number four. Here we are. I say, this is a pretty garden. Oh, I wish you could see it, boys and girls. There's lots and lots of daffy down dillies and don't forget me nots. Very pretty. And there's some creepy creeper starting to creep up the wall. I hope it doesn't start creeping out of the gate and down the lane. I'd better shut the gate because we must never leave them open, boys and girls. I'm sure this must be Mary Mary Quite Contrary's garden. It looks so trim and neat. There's somebody hiding behind the rose bush. Perhaps I've interrupted a game of hide-and-seek. Cooey, can I play? It's me, Pierre the Clown. Hello, Mary. Are you looking after your garden? I didn't know it was just outside Polly's kitchen. Sing your song and we might be asked him for a cup of tea. Mary, Mary, why contrary? How does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockles, shells and pretty maids all in a row. 
seven pretty maids all in a row. That was very nice. Now, leave your gardening gloves outside, dear, and we'll knock at the door together. You knock first. That's not very loud. You've got very good gardening fingers, but you haven't got very good knocking fingers. I'll do it. Who's there? Who's there? It's me, Pierre the Clown, and Mary Contrary. Oh, hello. Can we come in? We want a cup of tea. Yes, you can. I've just put the kettle on. You've just put the kettle on? Now, Polly, I hope you are being very, very careful with the hot water because I don't want you to scald yourself. I always tell the boys and girls that they must never, never play with the pots and pans or the kettle while Mummy's cooking, just in case they get scalded. Polly put the kettle on. Polly put the kettle on. Polly put the kettle on. We'll all have tea. Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again. They've all gone away. That reminds me, I must go. No time for tea. Bye bye, Mary. Bye bye, Polly. Bye bye, Pierre. Bye bye, Pierre. Oh, well, boys and girls, I suppose you've got to turn the record over. I'll have a little rest. Be careful, I'm very fragile, so don't drop me. Oh, thank you very much. That was like being at the fair. We're on side two now. <laughs> oh, there's Bar Bar Black Sheep and his family. Now, they're very nice. I'll go over and talk to them. <laughs> Hello, Pierre. How are you today? I'm all right, Mr Sheep. How are you and all the family? You sound husky. Have you got a cough or a cold? Well, never mind. Could you and your relations manage to sing your nursery rhyme with me? Yes! Oh, you could? Good. Thank you very much. Ba ba red. Oh, I'm sorry. Ba ba green. Oh, terribly sorry. Ba ba blue. Oh, very sorry about that. Let's start again. Ba ba black sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One for the master, one for the day, and one for the little boy who fell down the drain. Oh, no! It's the little boy who lives down the lane. Are you sure it wasn't the little boy who went on a train? Oh, no, Pierre. You are very funny, but we must go now. Come along, everybody. Come along. <laughs> I'm glad you told the boys and girls to shut gates because we don't want to wander in the road and get knocked down. <laughs> I say, boys and girls, aren't they funny? What a nice fluffy face Father Sheep has. Oh, fluffy face. Well, come along. ta ta tee ti 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 tum Here's a very big wall and there's someone sitting on the top. I wonder who that could be. Oh, I know, it's Humpty Dumpty. I'll just call up the wall. Hello, Humpty. How are you? All right, thank you. Are you sunbathing, Humpty? No, I'm waiting to fall off the wall. Please don't fall. Oh, yes, boys and girls. Humpty did fall. I wonder why he fell off the wall. Maybe because he didn't look right or left at all. And all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. But let's see if Humpty will sing for us. Humpty, please sing. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Well, there you are, boys and girls. You'd better take advice from Humpty. So when you cross the road, don't be like Humpty Dumpty and fall off the curb. Please do your curb drill. Say it after me. It goes like this. At the curb, halt. At the curb, halt. Look to the right. Look to the right. Look to the left. Look to the left. Look to the right again. Look to the right again. And if all is clear, quick march and don't run. And if all is clear, quick march and don't run. That's very good. Now, don't forget, whoo, this is a very steep hill. I know, this is the Jack and Jill hill. There's Jack and there's Jill with that very, very big bucket of water. <gasps> They've fallen down. Are you all right, Jack? Let me have a look. Oh, dear, you've cut your leg. Never mind, I'll put a plaster on it for you. Thank you very much. Hello, Jill. Are you all right? Let me help you up. There, that's better. Oh, thank you, Pierre. I say you've spilt all the water. Now you'll have to go all the way up the hill again to get some more. 
Make sure you walk on the pavement and not in the road. Have you got time to sing your rhyme before you go? Yes, we have. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Up Jack got and home to trot as fast as he could caper. He went to bed to mend his head with fish and chips and paper. Oh, Jack, it's silly, Pierre. He's interrupted. It should be vinegar and brown paper. Oh, yes, vinegar. It's very nice with fish and chips, but I'm very sorry I interrupted. Goodbye, Jack. Goodbye, Jill. Goodbye, Pierre. Goodbye. 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 Please don't drop the bucket and fall down the hill again. Find yourself a flat hill, then you won't fall down. A dump dee 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 dee. Oh well, boys and girls, I suppose I'd better go back to my home, the circus, and see all my friends, the horses and the ponies and the elephants and the lions, and my nice cosy caravan. Oh yes, I hope I made the bed, and it's about time I had a sleep. I'll sing myself a lullaby. Rockabye baby on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. Down will come cradle Pierre and all. <laughs> oh, 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 I did hurt myself. Oh, hello, who are you? I know you're the line keeper's daughter. What's your name? My name's Lily. Oh, your name's Lily. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. Hello. Would you like to sing me a good night song? Yes, I'll sing you one. Is it going to be a happy good night song? Because I must have a happy good night song so that I have happy, happy dreams. Oh, yes. Good. Well, you start and I'll see if I can go to sleep. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Like a diamond in the sky. That was very pretty and I'm feeling very tired. Well, boys and girls, bye-bye. Please come and listen to me again. Bye-bye. I'm feeling all right now. Bye-bye. See you again. Bye-bye, boys and girls.